Well, welcome back to Nightly Nonsense, where we make some sense out of the nonsense. Last night was talking about focus and attitude and actions. And here's, this is just a process that if we don't interrupt it somewhere along, right, then we're going to be in trouble. God did this with Cain. Cain got angry because his sacrifice wasn't accepted. God said, hey, sin is crouching at your door. Cain, be really careful, right? What you're focusing on, the fact that you're right? Sacrifice was not accepted. God said, if you do the right things, it will be accepted, right? So change your focus right now. There are a lot of times where when we are called to intercede on other people's behalf, that really what we should be asking God for is God change their focus. Right now, they're, they're focused on what they're losing. They're focused on this disease. They're focused on money. They're focused on relationships. What they need to be focused in is you. God knows that the key to this whole focus, attitude, actions thing is being focused in on God, right? Meditate on these things. Think about these things. Listen, you're not going to forgive somebody if your entire thought process is on all the bad thoughts, all the bad things that they have done for you. It's just not going to happen right? It's funny because I hear about all the time, the people who get in a car accident and they jump out of the car and they go to the car and they start yelling at somebody. How could you be so stupid? How could you be so dumb? How could you be, how did you see the light turned? And, and boom, they're, they're, they're inst instantly angry. Where's their focus? Well, their focus is on themselves and what happened to them, right? But there's a flip side of that, which is there are people who jump out of their car and they run in their car just to make sure the other person's okay. I don't care in this moment whose fault it is. I just need to know you're okay. Are you okay? Right? That, that's where our focus comes into play. God says if you're focusing on the right things, then in a given moment, it's not going to be about what they did to you. It's going to be about where they are. You can look at somebody and say, listen, I, I don't know how you got here today, but I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want to be adding to your stress. I don't want to be adding to, like, this isn't, this has nothing to do with me. This has to do with you. So are you praying for, when you're interceding for people, are you praying for their focus to be changed? God, get their focus on you. Lord, get my focus on you. If we could take a pause, right, in moments, and we could just say, God, in this moment, I just need you to somehow get me to focus on you. Imagine how meetings would be and and. Uh, dates would be even, and kids' moments would be, and school moments, and work moments, and all these things. Imagine how they would be different if you could say, Lord, just get me focused in on you first, right? You first, then, then God, you'll give me the right focus, then my attitude and my actions are going to be okay. God, God asks us to do that. Do you know that he said, listen, your focus should be on the eternal destination for people. That should be where your focus is. When you see somebody, you know, acting ungodly, are your, is your focus on the ungodliness or is your focus on the fact that, Lord, they need you. They need you. Right? How do, how do, I, how do I intercede in this moment? Listen, that doesn't take away from the bad things that have happened. Right? It doesn't make it all okay. It doesn't say they give people permission. Nobody has permission to sin. Right? This whole process of if I if I forgive them, then I'm going to tell them it's okay what they did. N no. If you forgive them, then you're going to tell them that Jesus already paid the price. Jesus already paid the price for what they did. So I want you to chew on that right are in moments are you able to focus on what god wants godliness righteousness or is your focus on the opposite right we can have much better moments in life if we can say god help me focus in on you in this moment are you able to do that that's going to make a lot of sense out of a whole bunch of the nonsense that's all around us you know the enemy just wants us to react he wants you to turn on your television and get mad he wants you to listen to a conversation and get angry he wants you to get fearful he wants all of these things to happen no turn on your television and get godly hey i need to pray about that what happens if in every commercial break you just prayed for whatever the segment was in the news Right? What if, it, if you're reading, if you stopped and you said, Lord, help me see this through your perspective. And then as you finish up, Lord, help me pray in your perspective for this. What if we made moments godly 
in nature. I I know that's hard. I know people don't like to do it. I know it's super easy to be inconsistent. Got that problem too. But man, the moments that we do it right, God can use those things. Good things can happen. We'll see you next time right here. Nightly Nonsense.